Hello class. This video is a little warm-up video about essay three, which is about education and learning. So you can see for your essay assignment that I found a picture of Ta-Nehisi Coates holding a book. And I found a picture of Tara Westover graduating. So this is a great topic for us because you're in the middle of your education right now. And these two authors are reflecting, thinking about what it means to learn and what it means to become educated. So in this essay, we write about both books with the theme of education. So I'll read this little bit out loud. Task. Using both educated and between the world and me, write an essay about the nature and purpose of education and learning. For both authors, education is more than just getting new information. It is more than having a degree to put on your resume. And it is more than preparing for a career with a high salary. What is it then? What does it mean to become educated? So that's our theme for essay three. And before we look at the two choices for essay questions, I want to dip into the book a little bit. So you might pause your video right now and get out your books because we're going to look in the book. So first, let's look in Educated by Tara Westover. And we're going to go to the very last page. So I'm on page 329. The last chapter, chapter 40, starts on page 327. And it's called Educated. So this is her. If the whole book is an essay, this is her conclusion, chapter 40. So page 329, the very end of the book, she's telling us in a way what education means to her. So this is Tara Westover, page 329. The decisions I made after that moment were not the ones she would have made. So you'll have to read this chapter to get the context here. They were the choices of a changed person, a new self. So she's talking about herself here. A changed person, a new self. You could call this selfhood many things. Transformation, metamorphosis, falsity, betrayal. I call it an education. So notice what she's not talking about here. She's not talking about getting a degree so you can get a good job. She's not talking about pouring information into your head, like memorizing facts. That's not what an education is. So what is it? So this is the kind of quote that you would use in this essay. And you probably will use this quote. And you'll read this part over and over and really think about what it means. So that's just a taste, page 329 in Educated. Now let's switch to Between the World and Me. So here's my copy. You can see I took the, the white paper cover off. So in this book, let's go to page 34. So you might pause your video for a sec. Find page 34. So, page 34, at the top. An unceasing interrogation of the stories told to us by the schools now felt essential. So this is during Coates's part about being in school, which starts on page 25. But we're on page 34 here. So he's been reflecting on what it meant for him to be in school as a kid. So same page, page 34, 
go down about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 lines from the top. And Coates writes, but every time I ask it, the question is refined. That is the best of what the old heads meant when they spoke of being politically conscious. I think the old heads means like civil rights leaders from the 60s, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, etc. As much a series of actions as a state of being, a constant questioning, questioning as ritual, questioning as exploration, rather than search for certainty. So there's a key line in the middle of page 34 about what learning and education means for Tanahasi Coates. So mark the spot if you didn't already. I'm going to read a little more. Some things were clear to me. The violence that undergirded the country so flagrantly on display during Black History Month and the intimate violence of, yeah, nigger, what's up now, were not unrelated. And this violence was not magical, but was of a piece and by design. So clearly he's talking about racism here. But what exactly was the design? And why? I must know. I must get out. But into what? I devoured the books because they were the rays of light peeking out from the door frame. And perhaps past that door, there was another world, one beyond the gripping fear that undergirded the dream. So there's some great lines from ta Coates about what it means for him to become educated, given his background as a black person from West Baltimore. Okay, so page 34, and there's a lot, of, there's a lot more good stuff in these chapters from Coates. All right, so that's just a couple, uh, a couple things from the book, from both books about our essay. And now let's look at the essay questions. So if you do topic number one, you're gonna write about Coates, Westover, and yourself. So do this one if you'd like to write about your own education and your own background. And I'll let you read the question. You can see there's a lot for you there. Topic two, education is liberation. For this one, you won't write about yourself, but you will write about Westover and Coates and Malcolm X. So here's a picture of Malcolm X with a book. And we have a reading in Canvas from the autobiography of Malcolm X in which he talks about how he became a big reader while he was in prison. So kind of like Tara Westover, Malcolm X got educated in a really unusual way, but of course their backgrounds are totally different. So education as liberation. So for topic two, you're writing about what it means to be educated, but you're focusing on this idea of liberation. So, so for, for Coates and Malcolm X, it's clearly about racism and how education matters to them in overcoming racism. Whereas for Tara Westover, you might have to go back to your being a girl notes and think about sexism and misogyny and what it means uh, for Tara to liberate herself because her story is very different from these other guys. All right, so you will have to choose one of these two great topics. And uh, I hope that you can decide soon and uh, let me know what you're doing. And uh, I hope you will enjoy essay three. It'll be a lot of work but it's a great thing to think about since you're in the middle of your own education.